So this is the um, elbow inflammatory reaction. This is going to include a lot of different things, but a lot of times uh, we're talking about tendonitis types of issues, wrist issues. So we want to look at uh, we want to look at their body mechanics. And one of the things, of course, would be of course computer use, that type of thing. Usually, I'll have them show me. I'll say, okay, okay um, put yourself in a working position and just let me see, uh, you know, what your posture looks like and. and what we try to encourage would be a posture in which at a workstation their hands are just slightly below elbow height, okay? So from this position we're in a more neutral posture. Generally we recommend more of a split keyboard scenario so their hands can get out to the side. Now one of the things that, that most workstations have faulty is the, um, the, you have the 10 key that's attached to the keyboard but then over here you have the mouse and, and either the mouse is too far away but the problem is if you bring the mouse into where it should be you have to shift the keyboard over here where it's awkward again so if somebody's going to be living at their computer station having the mouse on the left side is a better scenario it takes a while to, to learn how to do that but then they could actually center their keyboard and have the mouse there on the left side and be in much better much better shape. Um, mice that allow your hands to be more like this is better. Whenever we roll our palms forward, our bones are crossing over on themselves. Circulation is impaired. So we're trying to encourage a palm to palm technique. And this even goes for somebody that has to do a lot of work. If we can get them in a palm to palm posture, then we can actually reduce that upper extremity force. Anytime you start going palm down, is when you, we have problems. The other thing to notice or to, to note is the fact that um, a lot of strain happens because of sustained holding, not repetition. So somebody holding something for a long time or gripping something for a long time um, would actually have more likelihood of tendon problems than somebody that's doing something more repetitive. So you, you want to minimize that holding pattern try to get them to use their palms in a palm-to-palm -palm technique. And if they are having wrist issues, for instance, uh, sleeping with their carpal tunnel brace is gonna, in my opinion, be more effective than um, having it on during the day. You have to be careful when they're using it during the day, they're using their thumb more than they usually would, and that can create some tendonitis and joint issues in the thumb. So just neutral posture, palm-to-palm, -palm is a good place to start.